He's Phoebe Head, who lives in Perth, making super videos for all his work. His channel is great, he's a good mate with Bella, Phil Southern Head. G'day, it's beer lovers. It's our old mate again here. VB Head. G'day, beer lovers. Well, have I got a treat for you guys today. I've got someone really famous on my show. It's Donald Trump. Yes! Welcome, Mr. Trump. Welcome to my show. It's a great honor to have you here. What a great honor it must be for you to honor me tonight. Yeah, you got that right, Mr. Trump. It is a great honor. Hey, look, I've got to ask you, what did you think when my agent rang you and he invited you onto my show? And what do you think of my YouTube channel? He put glasses on so people will think he's smart. And it's, it just doesn't work. You know, people can see through the glasses. It's like a little baby, like a disgusting little weak, pathetic baby. <laughs> Gee, Mr. Trump, you really don't hold back with your fucking insults, do you? Yeah. Why do you always have to come across as a fucking arsehole all the time? I think the big problem this country has is being politically correct. I've been, ch I've been challenged by so many people and I don't frankly have time for total political correctness. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm not a big fan of political correctness either. Fuck that. I hate people being politically correct all the time. Okay, now look, I want to ask you, Mr. Trump, some very personal questions about your beautiful wife, Melania. She's gorgeous. Now, I'm going to ask you some questions. Now, I'll try and be polite about it, okay? Now, let's face it. You're just a fucking old fart with a really weird fucking hairstyle, okay? Now... <laughs> How on fucking earth did you manage to capture a beautiful, hot-looking woman like that? You know, look, if you got a fucking 12-inch purple-headed love stick between your legs or something. I'm really rich. <laughs> but you are a fucking tosser. Okay? How the fuck can people love you? But Mr. Trump, you're not a nice person. We don't need nice! That's true. But actually, I am. I think I am a nice person. <laughs> hey, can you remember the first night when you slept with your beautiful wife, Melania, Mr. Trump? What was it like? all sorts of ridiculous questions and you know you could see there was blood coming out of her eyes uh blood coming out of her wherever but Ooh, yuck. <laughs> so what you're saying mr trump is that millennia was on her rags <laughs> she was having her periods <laughs> now look i have to ask a pretty serious question here don't you think that you're denigrating your wife by talking about this you mean it's not politically correct and yet everybody uses it? I, so you know what? Give me a different term. Give me a different term. What else would you like to say? Okay, well, let's just move on, shall we? Now, I want you to help me settle a big debate. Okay, now, what do you think about women with pubic hair? You know, like a big, thick bush between their legs. The last thing this country needs is another bush. We've had it with the bushes. Hey, Mr. Trump, I so fucking agree with you there, mate. Now, what should we do about these fucking women that love having these big, thick bushes between their legs? I would build a great wall, and nobody builds walls better than me, believe me. And I'll build them very inexpensively. I will build a great, great wall. <laughs> but who would you pay for the fucking wall? Mexico? <laughs> hey, look, I want to ask your thoughts about YouTubers like me. You know, we aren't famous, but we want to be famous. You know, we want to be famous like you, Mr. Trump. 
Have you got any advice that you wish to share with us YouTubers? We have losers. We have losers. They're losers. They're just losers. How are these people going to lead us? How are we going to how are we going to go back and make it great again? We can't. They don't have a clue. We have losers. We have losers. They're losers. They're just losers. <laughs> Fuck off, will ya? <laughs> so you think all us YouTubers are a bunch of fucking losers, do you? <laughs> hey, look. Here's a proposition for you. If I came to America and I said I would assist you in your campaign to be president, you know, would, would you take me to all these flashy restaurants in New York and, you know, will, will you get on the Turks with me and we get, get pissed together and have a great time? Please, please. I would not be throwing him a dinner. We've had this conversation. I'd get him a McDonald's hamburger and I'd say, we got to get down to work. <laughs> you are a fucking tight ass, Mr. Trump. <laughs> all right, okay, I'm gonna wrap the show up. Okay, look, I wish you all my best in your campaign to be president. Now, it, let's say you don't become president, right? Okay, and your ego, it gets really hurt. What are you gonna do? You're gonna crawl off somewhere, hide under a rock somewhere. You know, what are you gonna do if the American people reject you, Mr. Trump? I'm not going anywhere, folks. I'm not doing this for my health. I'm doing this to make America great again. Thank you, Mr. Trump. Look, it's been a great pleasure and a great honor to have you on my show. We have losers. We have losers. They're losers. They're just losers.